All right, I hope you guys are enjoying the MW3 release. Today, we're gonna to be continuing our series of talking about my early thoughts going into MW3's hardpoint rotations. This time, we're gonna be talking about Karachi hardpoint. If you haven't already, check out my previous video where we're talking about Invasion hardpoint, a pretty good map, and probably one we're gonna be seeing in the map set going into competitive this year. So let's hop in into Karachi hardpoint and talk about our thoughts. All right, so we're moving on to Karachi with the overhead view, just like we did in the previous video. We're gonna start with P1, obviously in this middle square to begin with honestly this was the easy prediction we got it right it was obviously going to be in the middle of the map and what better place to do it than some mixy courtyard uh, with this p1 honestly i think this is going to be pretty contest heavy like you'd probably expect with some type of hill like this and i think it's going to come down to the big vertical gunfights that you're going to get from the high grounds over here over here uh, in this building as well like all these areas are where you can set up your ars to be right at the beginning of the breaks you're probably going to see a lot of initial gunfights from like an ar and a sub over here on both sides trying to fight for each other and then vertical gunfights like let's say over here and over here or in this broken building like obviously these sort of high ground areas are going to be super beneficial for those power positions when you're starting to actually try and hold this hill for a little bit of time you know obviously the spawns are you know over here and over here so once those kills go down you're going to keep spawning towards those sides of the map and then you're just going to be basically fighting for those high ground power positions to try and soak any type of p1 time that you can and that's going to lead us over to the p2 so the p2 is actually the diner and we got that correct as well so this is going to be a really interesting rotation because obviously the favorable side for this map is going to be this side because p2 is on that side an easy rotation from that p1 to the p2 usually means it is the more preferable side just because you want to have control of that second hill right away so making sure that you can lock down that second hill is going to be really important going into that p1 because you know you can try and make that p1 really mixy and if you do so that's great because if you can continue to keep these spawns toward this p2 side you're setting yourself up for rotation win and an easy hold onto the p2 so once again more preferable side is going to be this side so what i really want to talk about is the rotation to this p2 so specifically for this side if you're spawning over here what they actually did in this remake in mw3 is they opened up this little area over here so now it's a, like a little back alley with a little jump spot and you can actually hop over it and get to the diner from this way so before what you had to do was if you were coming off spawn let's say back in the day in search and destroy if you were coming off spawn over here you'd have to go through this back alley to get towards this b bomb site or again this p2 in this situation so any teams that would try and tack you out you'd basically be blocked over here with those tacks but now you have another option and this is going to be a free route for you on rotation if you guys are spawning over here you can just take this route start getting to p2 early maybe play this back alley as well and you can really start getting set up and not have to worry about just funneling through this one alleyway so that's going to be a really interesting way to now play s and d on this map but also it's going to be a really interesting way for this p2 two to work out because now what you can do is you can have some type of a, a close spawn you know in this back alley so if we're talking about possible spawns on this p2 specifically if i had to guess we would have a close spawn in this back alley now now that you can actually play towards it so if you're soaking the hill and no one's blocking on the other team you're going to spawn close to it and then you'll have maybe some outer spawns like over here and over here so in case uh, someone does end up blocking this spawn let's say you have an enemy that starts wrapping around flanking this way now you might spawn out over here and if it's going tested like let's say your team is still on the hard point while they're blocking it then this other team is going to spawn out towards this other position towards the a-bomb site and now you have your foot races to the hill from these two areas of the map this is a lot of the times what you see in just regular hard point spawns where there is that one close spawn so like let's say over here and then you have your two outside spawns if that's blocked a lot of times it creates this sort of v so that's how you really want to be thinking about it in the game if you're not spawning close to the hill but you have people in that area that means that someone is contesting it and that they're also spawning out but if no one on your team is in that area and your team is spawning out you're all spawning out and they're spawning close so you really need to make sure that you work take some routes make sure that you start blocking that spawn so the enemy team also starts spawning out and then you have those foot races so you want to make sure that you know where your teammates are because if they're in the hill and you spawn out that means that someone is close from the opponent team and that both teams are going to be starting out and then you're gonna have interesting gunfights where let's say you have enemies going this way through this mid cut and you're on the other side spawning over towards the grass over here you're gonna be met with gunfights you know in this area because both teams are spawning out so you really want to be taking that into account especially going into this p2 because i think that's how it's most likely going to work and then let's go on to the p3 we're gonna make our way towards uh, this little store over here so this is something we actually didn't predict and actually we didn't even predict p2 in the right place either we did predict it to be a hill but we expected i believe 
believe P2 to be uh, in this grassy area, but we did get the hill correct. We knew it was going to be some type of hill, but honestly, we're going into this P3. So this is going to be another one of those hills where you're probably going to see one of those V setups with the spawn. So you're probably going to see close spawns in the back over here for anyone that's holding the hill. And if it starts getting contested with people, you know, going and trying to break onto the hill through this way or this way, they're going to start contesting that back spawn and you're going to be spawning out in areas maybe like outside over here, over here. But again, you're going to be seeing those outside spawns it creates a v shape like this so you're going to be racing to the hill if you're both spawning out so you're going to be racing to the hill with both teams spawning out if it's contested and then you're going to have really interesting gunfights in the middle of the map so let's say people are coming this way people coming this way going to be gunfights over here or gunfights you know over here in these areas because they're going to be starting to catch up and meet with each other through these lanes and through these lines of sight. So teams are actually going to be trying to battle through those areas because that's the only way that they can actually see each other. So you're gonna see teams contesting with gunfights over here and over here. So those are gonna be like the hot zones and then you're gonna have someone on the hill. I think there's actually going to be a little like corner. So people are probably gonna play on the inside of the corner, obviously, just so they're not out in the open for this P3. So you can actually start soaking the hill without being exposed to everyone that might be taking those gunfights and then moving on to the p4 with this two-story building you're probably going to see once again another sort of trap setup leading into this p4 from the p3 once again we talked about this an in invasion towards that p5 but look how deep this hill can be and with these spawns if there's back spawns here like this you can make sure that your teammates are not contesting this point anymore towards that end of the hill so that the enemy team keeps spawning over there and what you could do is the enemy teams going to keep spawning in the back and you can start making it so that you trap them in setups like this and you can just hold these lanes making sure that they can't leave this area of the map so that you can have a clean rotation to this p4 once again just like the p1 i think the high ground gunfights over here are going to be really important because teams are most likely going to try and get vertical on this p4 to try and break on in so if your team are holding the hill making sure that you're holding not only both bottom doors but also the top jump is going to be really essential for holding this hill because of that third entrance way most likely teams and players and rank player are going to prioritize those bottom doorways but once again getting vertical is going to be essential and i think it's going to be a 100 percent guaranteed fact teams are going to try and really get breaks on in from the top side here so making sure that once again on that rotation you're trapping like you would do in that invasion p5 but you keep trapping them there making sure that you're holding the outside lanes so that they cannot take routes uh, this way or this way break on in and try and flip spawns but make sure that they're contained in that back so once that p4 pops you get good spawns you're holding the hill already and making sure that you already have those good lanes and good lines of sight going into that hill and trying to really get a good setup on it from that and then we'll move on to the p5 so the p5 is actually going to be at this jail area of the map it's going to be a really interesting hill because it really isn't that long of a rotation from p4 i'm honestly surprised they went with this in their design of the hardpoint rotation for this map but in general what you're probably going to see is going to be a contest fest for p5 i assume this is going to be a really contest heavy hill it's not really on a deep area of the map just want to interrupt the video real quick as i was saying p5 could be a contest till after playing it it does seem teams start spawning out towards that far side of the map so it doesn't really look like it's going to be a contest till because there's going to be such a long trek for teams to try and get back towards the hill so just figured i'd update you guys on that so this is kind of why i was initially unsure of how this would actually work because you're going to be moving from this p5 to this p1 and then you have like p5 p1 and p4 all in this like small rotational area and my biggest gripe on this map so far is the fact that like we don't have any hills on this part of the map so basically this entire part of the map is just going to be used for routes and spawns like i was saying when we were predicting the hills on twitch i would really like to see a hill towards this market area it just doesn't seem right to me that there is just no uh real objective area of the map on this side of the map so i want to see how it works i do think in general this map could be played really well if the hardpoint rotation was just fixed or tuned just a little bit but honestly even with this rotation it's probably going to be a decent map overall i just don't think having the, you know this entire area of the map without an objective uh, is beneficial but you know let's see how it plays out maybe they tune it maybe the way that they designed the map will work out uh, it just seems really weird to me right at the beginning but we'll see how it is we'll start playing around with it obviously we'll scrim on this map for sure uh, but let's see how it actually plays out so that's the rotation for this map p1 in the middle courtyard like we thought it was going to be p2 
at the diner, P3 at the store over here, P4 at this two story building, and then P5 at the jail over here. So this is the rotation of the map. Honestly, once again, I'm just worried about P4, P1, and P5 all being in this general area. So in my opinion, I really do think something needs to be placed on this area of the map. Maybe a hill over here by the market, over here by this plat. I think just having one of those and a little bit of a deeper spawn, uh, trying to make sure that you're balancing it out with you know these P2s and P3s is a bit better, uh, but we'll see. Let's see how it plays out. So let me know what you guys think. Do you like Karachi as a map? I honestly really like it for search for sure. Uh, Hardpoint, I do actually think it will be played, uh, but let's see how it actually plays out first. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for making it to the end of the video, and I'll see you guys in the next one.